Hey guys, today is Saturday, May 12th, 2018. Time for Bipolar Opposites. My name is Timothy Andrew Antonio Crabbin, and yes, I look completely different. Totally different. But hey, feel me. So, yesterday on Bipolar Opposites, we talked about generalizations in media, like everybody's talking about it. That, that's not true. So if you want to check that out yesterday, it's really good thing you can check it out. Anyway, today we're going to talk about movie prequels, sequels, and reboots. Okay, let's say why we want sequels. Well, the sequels are basically that they want to continue the story from the previous movie you saw. So, it goes, okay, this is the end of that movie. But then this is like Star Wars, you know? So it's the end of episode 4, moves in episode 5 and everything. And that's to completely pick up the story. Or the Harry Potter movies, you know, those always pick up where each other lets off. I mean, sequels, sequels can be really great. But also the thing about it, sometimes the sequels aren't that great because they take a franchise and ruin it completely. Like, blow it up. Like, what, why, why? So, sometimes a sequel doesn't seem necessary. And it's a waste that they're just trying to make this franchise bigger when you know, all make the term the franchise go. <laughs> yeah. So that's the same thing. Same thing goes with prequels. It's like, um, say, okay, we got a movie, but we wanna go more explore it, but we don't want to make it forward. So we're gonna go back in time and go before the previous movie and say it's leading to the current movie. I mean again, Star Wars. The way they did. Did the three prequel movies. And now even they're doing the three sequel movies. So, can't argue there. Now, again, prequels have the same problem that they screw up the storyline and piss everyone off. Like, look at X and Origins Wolverine. They totally changed details from the other movies which made no sense and they fucked up the idea of keeping Wolverine going for much longer. Okay, how about reboots? Those come... When the series is definitely down the toilet. So, why do you do that? Well, they say, okay, if it didn't work, so let's make it different and see if that works. Like, say, Spider-Man. We had the three Spider-Man, then we had two amazing Spider-Man movies. They had nothing to do with each other. Nothing at all. They were just, they didn't do that work, so they moved on to the next one. And amazingly enough, amazing Spider-Man did not go on being popular, so they rebooted in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, you know, sometimes reboots don't go good because maybe you realize that thing, okay, gee, maybe we should have kept it going on that storyline, but they didn't, so who knows. Well, my commentary here is done. Tomorrow on Bipolar Opposites, we celebrate Mother's Day and a message to the most important woman in my life. Hope you'll enjoy it. Then Tim Coven, out.